COF stands for Classrooms of the Future. We use technology in the classroom in order to increase student achievement. We use instructional technology coaches to raise the level of instruction. Kids aren't always ready to learn when you're ready to teach. And so if we can make the materials accessible to kids whenever they're ready to learn, they're more apt to learn it. So Mercury is 36 million miles. We started putting projectors in classrooms and looking at how can the visual change the experience for the students and move that towards integrating uh, Moodle. Moodle is, uh, it's an, I see it as an interactive web page for students to come on. It's like your classroom online. One of the most powerful things is there's a reports option and so when I look at the reports to see who was on Moodle today and what were they doing, it shows me every click that they would make on the site. Um, so I can see who's, you know, going to the online textbook or who's looking at the videos or who's, you know, looking at the assignment calendar. And I think the newest, kind of latest and greatest thing are the videos. I just call them the Jing videos. Short instructional videos that are less than five minutes long. Examples of completing the square or how to sew a certain stitch and putting those videos on iPods so the kids can use them in class or putting them into iTunes so the kids can grab them at home and put them on their own iPod. The technologies that we use depend on what our goal is. We have some special ed teachers who might use a flip camera and take videos of the children and then email it to the parents so the parents better understand the specific skills they're working on that day. If a teacher wanted to improve uh, student engagement, they might use an iTouch or an iPad. If a teacher wanted to improve cooperation in the classroom, she might use a smart table where the children have to work collaboratively in order to solve problems. In my classroom, I used to have a chalkboard and the kids weren't engaged in the chalkboard. I was using it as a teaching tool and I put pictures or posters on there and the kids would see it or not see it. And now I'm using the smart board in my classroom as a technology piece just to engage the students and get them up and moving during their group time. They're not just sitting, listening to me teach or read a story. I can also use the smart board to uh, teach vocabulary, specific vocabulary. I went with the math concept of what's under the umbrella and I put an animal picture behind the umbrella. Each child got a turn, they would come up to the smart board touch the umbrella, move it over, and find what's hiding underneath it. We've shown that when we incorporate video or the visual into a classroom, the kids, kids achieve at higher rates. And so I think it's important to connect the two, the achievement with the technology. We gathered the test scores from uh, one classroom that had a smart board, and we gathered the test scores for the students in a classroom that did not have a smart board. And then we averaged the children's scores. And in the classroom without the smart board, the children had improved 22%. In the classroom with the smart board, the children had improved 64%. So there was a 42% difference between the two classrooms. We've got other districts doing what we started to do um, because of what we've been talking about. And to know that not just the kids are being impacted, but across the state and really across the nation. We get emails from different districts saying, hey, we're using your videos for chemistry, for math, for um, sewing, is really powerful and really rewarding.